So, there was a problem with episodes 2, 3, and 4, where none of the audio was being recorded. So that's like, four hours worth of footage, completely gone. So, instead of trying to look through that and salvage what was left, I decided to just kind of go through the world and basically give a recap. We didn't make too much progress, but we did a little bit. So I'll go through and basically just give a recap of what we did. So, around episode 2, I expanded the dock a bit to make it more of a bridge and built up part of the storage house. This included the bottom bit, mostly just the walls and general framing, but I made a bit of progress on that in episode 2. And then on episode 3, I was joined by one of my other friends who will be probably playing on the SMP a lot more uh, in future episodes. But uh, in episode 3, we mainly expanded the storage house, gave it another floor, filled in the f first floor, uh, added some decoration, furniture, stuff like that, and he also built his own house over here. It is actually really great. It's unfinished on the outside, but the inside looks pretty cool. I do believe he has an enchanting room downstairs. I'm not sure if he finished that, though. Still have to go check. Well, there's the enchanting table, but no bookshelves or anything. Makes sense. We don't really have many books. There is also the upstairs with a lot of decoration. I'm very impressed by all the stuff you did. We still have not finished our house. The roof is still missing. Mostly because I haven't found a good block to put it in fill it in with. I also made a chicken farm, and am currently expanding that for a project later down the line. And that's basically it. Oh wait, no. No it isn't. Uh... I think I'll have to craft more bread, actually. Go and grab some of these hay bales, wherever I put them. There we go. Alright. So now we're off to one of my... So there were two other people that joined. Uh, Brandon, as noted by the Brandon residence sign, and Kaylee. So I will go ahead and boat on over to her house in my Ferrari. Alright, so this is the location of her build site, as you can see by the massive dirt cylinder in the middle of the ocean. And I have no clue what she's building or what she's planning to do, but it involves draining the ocean somehow, so... Anyways... Another thing that we did was we went mining a bit, and by a bit I mean full diamond armor for the both of us. It was quite the interesting experience, and I definitely did not die five times trying to grab my stuff. I also definitely did not die to a trident zombie three times. So, I will go ahead and run over to that mine shaft. And then, kind of just show you all the stuff that was in there. <laughs> Alright, so, over here is a massive tunnel that we dug all the way down to this huge cave system. I definitely did not die three times in there trying to get diamonds, but we also got enough obsidian for an enchanting portal 
and another portal. I also got a horse. Anyways, that's basically it for the recap. We did quite a lot. But there's still a lot of stuff we need to do, like building farms, uh, more houses, stuff like that. Just kind of planning out infrastructure as well. We still don't have much iron, and I haven't finished my mapping yet, so still working on that. Which is probably what you can expect in the coming episodes. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about or really say in this video, since all of that footage, I was not recording any audio whatsoever. Alright, that's all I wanted to say. Enjoy episode 2, technically 5, of the Minecraft SMP. Goodbye. Building Legos. Alright, my recording crashed. I'm back now. Anyways, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we need to make food farm. We need to make a farm. I like, think we should make a pen of cows. Yeah. But it needs to be near the actual houses and stuff. I think Do it should be... I think it should be like over there so it can be next to the iron farm. Oh yeah. We need wood though. Is this just gonna be our farm area? I guess it could be. Or actually, now that I think about it, we could make walls. Don't mind all the birch wood I just put in there. I'm going to steal wood from these villagers, because they definitely don't need it. How much wood do we need for the farm? Huh? Oh, we don't need wood. How much wood? Oh, you said we needed wood. I changed my mind. What about fences? Walls. Fair enough. Stone walls. I'm still gonna get wood. Okay. I guess we could use that for, like, a gate. Actually, no, gates are stupid. We need carpets. I hear a dog whining. But I don't have a dog. We need cows. And for that, we need wheat. There's some cows over in this direction, and there's also a villager with wheat. So I could just go over there. Wow, that's a big... okay. What? I wasn't expecting such a big pen. It's really not that big. Uh... It only took, like, a stack of walls. A stack? Actually, probably less. Now we just have to find cows. Oh, did you take the wheat from the house? Yeah. Okay. I haven't used it Oh my god. So can, like... There's an iron golem over here. 
I know. I said that. Well, I'm gonna kill it, because... That was not a good idea. I can't sprint. I found pumpkins. I am hiding in a small hole. Great. <laughs> did, you try to, did you hit the iron golem? I forgot that I couldn't sprint. I hit the iron golem and then I was gonna run away and build up so it couldn't hit me, but I forgot that I couldn't sprint, so now I'm just kinda stuck. Uh, bring me food. I can't escape. <laughs> oh, he's losing interest. Oh, nope. Never mind. He's just taunting I'm me now. I can't. I can't see him. I'm like in a little hole under the well. Yeah, hi. Also, here's an egg. Cool. <laughs> oh, I can hit him from here. Be careful. Why are you spamming? I felt like it. Okay. So you have wheat. Oh, I literally have hay bales yeah. in my inventory. I'm stupid. <laughs> I was yeah, looking I for wheat. Feet. I have you almost have to three wait for stacks. Cows to uh, I feel like I saw some cows unless you killed them. Like an idiot. Oh, here I they are. I killed cows on another island. But not here. I found a cow. A cow. One cow. We should probably make a wheat farm here. Do we have yeah. it for the cows? I have like a tiny wheat farm right next to the storage house. <laughs> Come here. Stiron? cows. Or the... <laughs> the cow is harassing me. Oh, the cow. Oh my god, I keep falling into the place with the iron chest. Why is there like a line here in the shape of an L? Huh? There's like a line in the ground over there. Did you break the, the dirt block? The yeah. I didn't know you needed it. For the cow. Come on. Mm. There we go. Perfect. Hey! It's one one cow. cow. One more to go. You have a stack of iron, by the way. Oh. Okay. And for some reason, a lot of people... Why is there a cow in the sheep pen? Huh? Or why- why- why is there a horse in the cow pen? <laughs> why- how did a horse get in there? I don't know. It's another one of those trees with half of it, like, cut off. Someone needs to explain why and what those are. I'm convinced our world is haunted or something. First Probably. it's like cut off trees, then it's the chest thing. Like, oh, I found two cows. Great. There's another one! What is with these trees? Oh, another cow. <laughs> and a sheep. Are you gonna start making a farming area? No, my god, there's another birch tree. Oh, it's on the chunk border. That might be what it is. It's like trying to generate the tree, and then it's like a chunk border. It tries to generate another tree, and then it's like... There can't be two trees there. So it messes it up. I'd have to check all of the other cutoff trees, though. If they're all on a chunk border, then it could be that. Otherwise, I have no clue. How would they all be on a chunk border, though? 
Well, it might be like a tree generates and the logs are right on a chunk order. And so that tree works fine, but then another tree generates because it doesn't detect that there's a tree in the chunk. So then it generates another tree and it's like, it forg it doesn't know that that tree's there, so it kind of cuts it off. You know? Mm -hmm. These cows just witnessed a murder and they're completely fine with it. Three cows. Incredible. Oh, that's me. I thought that was you. What? Getting the achievement. Oh. Yeah, that was not me at all. One, two, three, four. I remember seeing more cows over here. I'll have to go back. What do you lure pigs with? Carrots? Carrots. What? How did, how did a pillager group spawn inside the village? Also, they're, like, looking directly at me, but they're not actually attacking me. <laughs> wow. Like, all of them are just staring at me. But they don't care. What? How did they even spawn here? Horses actually drop leather, so it would be a good idea mm -hmm. to kill them. For the enchantment table? Yeah, for bookshelves. <laughs> Since there's like 5,000 horses over here. got six leather from killing like 12 horses still a pretty good amount since horses are a lot more common I like how water can go out four blocks and not be an issue for farming mm -hmm. it's very easy to do stuff Why? What? Oh. Bro. If there's an iron golem over there, he's gonna get very angry with you. It'll be fine. I'm about to die of starvation again. I have food. Oh, I have two pork chops in my inventory. That's a lot of chicken. I have a lot of food. And now we need to sleep again. Oh, man. We should make, like, a miniature base. To yeah. set in everything. Very big farm. This is a very productive episode. It is. Not much com commentary, but... Yeah, it's, it's kind though. of like... You either have a lot of commentary and not much doing, or you have a lot of doing and not much commentary. 
Yeah. That's a lot of iron. My god, this is a really good yeah. iron farm. When you're I around got, it for a long time, it gets a lot of iron. I got a iron. stack and a half of iron. We are absolutely rich. <laughs> yeah, iron iron was a huge problem just a bit ago, but now it's like, yeah. We have we iron, that. it's fine. <laughs> now food is our biggest issue. We're getting it done, though. Once fix, we get the farm running, and fix then Fix one more issue, two more pips in. pops up. <laughs> Just like real life. Real. How long, how long have you been playing? Um, like two hours? Yeah, that's not bad. It I feels think. like it's been longer. Let me check. So the first recording is... An hour, probably like two hours long, and then this one is 15 minutes. So I think probably like two and a half hours. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> he got the smoker. Don't kill him. Okay. He came to the smoker because it was a job station. Oh my god. I forgot that was the job station that existed. Read these guys. Yes, okay, sick. This will feed you. This is gonna be a massive farm. This is like our industrial district. Yep. This is where all the farms are. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Why- why did you do this? <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. Gotta fill this in. Not with me in it. Yeah. <laughs> evil. I'm not that evil. <laughs> Payback. No. Still can't breed them. We should, like, after we get all this set up, we should do some advancement hunting. Advancement hunting? Like, getting all the achievements, slash advancements, whatever you want to call oh. them. Oh, yeah. I'd really want to get some armor trims. Where do you get those? Um, there's a bunch of different ways. I think you use the brush to get them. Or some of them at least, the brush. I don't know how to get the brush, I forgot. I wonder if you can... get them in like, uh... Cause each of them has a theme, right? <laughs> the warden one you get from, um... Warden ancient chests. cities, obviously. Ancient city chests. Yeah. Uh, I know there's like an ocean one. I think you either get those from shipwrecks mm -hmm. or uh, the like uh, sunken they're ruin from things. Ancient Guardians. Oh, they're from, they're from the Guardians. Yeah. I guess I'm that pretty makes sure sense. I leave. Get over here. I can't. Why is one of them mm -hmm. able to be bred? I haven't really used armor trims before. I used them once, but I didn't actually get them. My friend just kind of spawned them in. I like leather armor because you can dye it, so armor trims are like the best thing ever. Yeah. Breed. I swear to god, I fed two of you. If you want to make a quarry, or like get stone and stuff, you could do it over here. 
because the iron golems yeah. can't spawn this far, far away. away from them. Like uh, this thing that I marked out, this chunk. I marked out this chunk so we could dig in it. That's what the L thing was that you were talking about. Do you have any shovels? Yeah, I have one. Okay. Do you see that, like, L line I'm talking about? Yeah, I dug this out. The shape of an L. This is oh, a chunk. I thought that spawned in, I was so confused. <laughs> no. This is one full chunk. So we could dig this out. I really like the fire arm, like armor trim. I don't actually that? know. This I don't know any of them. Like. Oh. Isn't there an end city one? That's fire. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what any of them look like, so I'll have to go onto like an armor trim maker website. There's Either so way. There's so many different the useful tools on websites for Minecraft. Like, there's Chunk Base, which is like a mapping thing. You can see your entire world from that. Yeah. And then there's that one banner creator. Uh, and then there's probably an armor trim browser. Probably shouldn't be running around so Honestly, much, but it's fun. I think any purple armor trim is good with netherite. It just looks a lot cooler. Yeah, netherite is, like, slightly purplish. That's why purple fits it. Because it's, like, a very dark purple. You know, I'm gonna make... purple on it again is cool. I'm gonna make... Leather armor, and then give it netherite trims. You could do, like, diamond armor and give it netherite trims to confuse your enemies. Oh yeah, there's literally a... Armor trim generator. What are all the resources you can use for armor trims? I know there's iron, uh, diamond, gold, stuff like that. Is there like redstone, amethyst? Oh. I didn't even notice. Yep, I crashed. Hi, I'm back. Luckily, the Luckily, the recording didn't crash. Also, oh, nice. I had a cool idea. So, <laughs> in Hermitcraft, they do this thing where they look at their statistics and then, like, bet diamonds on who has the highest statistic, and they take turns oh, giving a statistic you and You don't then have betting. enough diamonds for that. Yeah, but I'm like, we could do that. Once, once we get, we get yeah, more once we stuff, get then enough yeah. stuff to But we don't have, it. like, really anything. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's a cool game. It's very simple, and it's fun. Like, uh, you go into your statistics. Go into your statistics, real quick. I don't know how to do that. It's just escape statistics. It's a oh. hard word. Okay. Um, statistics. I'll start. Let's oh, go. Okay. Let's go with. Chests opened. I have 686 chests opened. Um, let me. Wait. It's near the top. Where it's, is that? It's in alphabetical order. Oh. 209. I win. How much was yours? 686. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I've opened a lot of chests in my time. Wow. <laughs> oh, here's one. Here's a good one. Um... Eggs thrown. 305. <laughs> Is that an item? Yeah. I have thrown 305 eggs. One. <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> uh. Oh, we have another stack of iron. Okay, let's do jump. Jumps? Oh, I am gonna win this mm. one. You go first since you were the one that called it. Great, um, 4,154. 4,154. Uh, let me check. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm kinda scared. How many did you have? 4,154. Okay. So, I have... Hold on, wait. I have 26,628. Great. Wow. Where are you, by the way? Um, seeds. I'm just kind of putting water on a bunch of seed area or grassy areas so I can get seeds from it. Oh. I I constantly jump around and just sprint jump everywhere. Yeah. So my jump counter is going to be uh insanely high all the time. Where did that go? Hmm? I threw an egg. And it disappeared. Again. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go check on my, uh, chickens. I think maybe we should, like, not explore too much, because 1.21 is soon, I think. So we could just, if we don't explore too much, we could just update the server, and then, like, yeah. walk, like, very slightly over, away from spawn, and then find all of the new stuff. What are they gonna have in that version? Uh... Auto crafters, you know. copper bulbs, the trial ruins, um, a couple other things that I'm very excited for, but I don't remember. I think it's a lot of more, uh, building blocks, like, finally calcite stuff. Like, calcite stairs. I'll say stairs would be amazing. I believe that is what they're gonna add. Oh yeah, uh, camels. That actually. Oh yeah, that might... camels! I forgot that... about that. That might already be a thing, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I feel what like camels... I f We're on 1.20. The update would be because camels, camels. I'm pretty sure camels were added the same update that they were in uh, the archaeology stuff, and archaeology is in 1.20 because you can craft a brush. Congratulations! Thanks. Did you know that you uh, completing challenges actually gives XP? 
Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't know the that. Challenges are the ones in purple. They also have like uh the weird outlines on the ad advancement screen. But they do actually mm -hmm. give you XP. I did not know that. It's a very small amount, so it's not super noticeable. But it does actually get... give you XP. You can get an advancement from doing a netherite hoe. Or, like, yeah. making a netherite hoe. That, it used to be making and fully using a diamond hoe. But now it's just making a netherite hoe. Which is kind of lame. I want, to s I want it to be increased to f fully using it as well. Eat everything that is edible. That seems like an interesting one. Oh, chiseled bookshelves! I forgot that was a thing. I also forgot that was a thing. Hit the bullseye of a target block from at least 30, 30 meters away. Damn. I think one of my favorite advancements is Sniper Duel. Kill a skeleton from at least 50 blocks away. <laughs> Post-mortal, what is that? That's a regular achievement, but it has like... a cylindrical... thing. Post-mortal. It doesn't have a normal outline. Which is weird. I always forget how many biomes there are in Minecraft. How many are there? 53. 53? Mm-hmm. I think that also includes uh, cave biomes as well. It does. It includes nether biomes, overworld biomes, and... Why am I so like everything. Oh. No idea. Oh. We have three stacks of iron now. Neat. I think... I might want to stop playing in a bit, but at the same time, I still want to keep playing. I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's fun. Ooh, how about we, like, record this and then release it in two separate episodes? Why would we release it in two separate episodes? Because. Okay. I just kind of want to. Because <laughs> I could, like, draw this out for as long as possible so I wouldn't have to record more later yeah, this fair. is a very this is a very long recording so even if I did edit it down even with all the time-lapse stuff it would probably still be like an hour maybe even more long and each episode so far has been an hour long which mm. is like three episodes except two of them aren't public because they got messed up no one was able to talk. What are you doing? Sleeping. What were you doing before that? I mean... <laughs> Absolutely nothing. At this point, I don't really know what to do. I'm just digging out this, um... Where? Quarry. Yeah, the quarry. I'm gonna breed the cows again. I already bred them. Oh. Well. You wanna help out with the quarry? Sure. I don't have any tools. I'll have to go make some. And I have also... some. Okay, cool. I dropped the shovel down. It's gonna be fun once we get Elytra. It is. That's but also, amazing. also, actually, no, it won't, because I. This is not a very good server. This is a free server. If we have mm -hmm. Elytra, it's gonna like lag out the server. You're not gonna be able to fly oh, more God, than like that's right. three chunks. <laughs> so really, it's completely useless. Which is why we need to make minecart systems instead. <sighs> Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. I making forgot what I was doing. Tools. Phew. 
We've been all over the place in this episode. Yeah. Probably don't need that many tools. We could probably make some ladders. Nah. How else would we get up? Water. I feel Hell, like ladders. Ladders are, is, ladders are still like the same speed, if not slower, than water. We could make like a bubble elevator. We could. We don't have um the stuff. We don't have soul sand, but like I have yeah. another portal. There. What am I doing? What's the other thing that you need? Oh, magma. Magma for going down, but like just falling would be faster. Yeah, but going down with magma would be safer. That's also lame. But n no, it wouldn't. It would be the same amount of safeness because you could just like uh make a trap door or something to align yourself. Yes. Or you could just dig a one block tunnel and then put the water at the bottom and so you can't die. Oh yeah. What are we even using this for? Nothing. Just gonna have it here? Just for the resources, pretty much. But I mean, we could put something here. I don't know what, though. And you're 100% sure the golem can't go over here? Yeah. They haven't been spawning at the lower layers, and this is, like, super low. So. Like, this, the iron golem farm is a block above this little area right here, and yeah. this quarry is below that area. So, I'm 100% certain. Oh, actually, just thought of this. Since we have those pathways, we can actually take, like, a boat and bring a villager over. Oh yeah, we can. To the main base and then build that. an iron farm there. But at the same time, I think we should make a minecart system since that would be a lot faster anyways. Also, did you know that minecarts are actually slower when there's nothing in them? What? They're slower when there's nothing in them. I'm not sure if that if they're actually slower or if they just decelerate faster. But they they don't go as far if there's nothing in them. That's that feels wrong. Like, you can have a gap. You can have a gap between two powered rails and the minecart with a player inside or any kind of entity would hit the second active, uh, powered rail, but the one without anything in it would not. It would stop before it reaches it. Which is kind of weird. But it does kind of make sense, though. It is though. weird. It makes sense, because if you if you get out of your minecart, and then if you, like, accidentally get out of your minecart, if it didn't slow down while it wasn't, while you didn't, oh my god, if it didn't slow down while you weren't in it, then it would just run off without you. So it being slower while there's nothing in it does make sense, since then you would, it would be easier to catch. Yeah. I guess that does make sense then, in that case. So, how deep are we gonna make this? Like, to bedrock? Or, to bedrock? I mean, yeah. There's... We don't have to stop, it's just kinda like... You can come and work on this whenever we don't have anything else to do. Yeah. Do you have any extra ladders? Mm hmm, I have ten. 
Okay, give me the ladders. I think it would be a good idea to, like, dig down this specific block until we run out of ladders instead of yeah going as we and then just work our way down. There we go. Now you can go down a couple extra blocks without having to get stuck. Also, my inventory is almost full again. Oh, that was you. Thank god. I almost thought it was the ghost chest again. The ghost that haunts our server. Yeah, I heard the chest open and I had flashbacks. <laughs> Trauma. I'm gonna make myself iron armor. Okay. Ooh, Just can because. we go spelunking yet? I forgot about that. Should yes, probably, we can. I think, actually, we should probably get... Uh, the farm a bit more populated so we can get food a bit. So we should get food before we go spelunking. Great. <laughs> I have to take my iron boots off. Why? Because I can't wear them with my iron. Or oh, I meant to right. say gold boots. I can't wear my gold boots with my iron boots. Sadly. Why do you need gold boots? I don't know, I just like gold. Okay. Why do people make gold boots when they go to the nether instead of a helmet? Because it's less? It's one ingot cheaper. Yeah, that's true, that's but That's such still. a negligible difference. And plus... It's safer if you make a helmet, because if you take fall damage, what's gold boots gonna do for you? So you're gonna want to make a helmet instead. What would a helmet do for fall damage either? That's the point. You're supposed to make a helmet to replace your other armor. Instead of making boots. Because if you have gold boots and another netherite set, you're gonna take a lot of fall damage, but if you have a gold helmet, and the rest is netherite, then you're not gonna take as much fall damage. And the nether does have true. very vertical terrain. I've just never understood it. It's a very stupid thing. I think people don't really just think too deeply into stuff. I do. And they just know that chest plate and pants take a lot more to make than boots do. There's not many helmet enchants that can help. Helmet enchants are actually, uh... There are a lot of helmet enchants that help with other things, but not with the nether. I think aqua yeah. affinity is like a... Like aqua uh, affinity. Yeah, aqua affinity, that's a really good enchant whenever you're building underwater. It's just not helpful for the nether. I don't know any helmet enchants that aren't helpful for the nether, actually. Other than our production, that's it, though. I don't think a lot of people know what Aqua Affinity does. Doesn't it make you be able to stay underwater for longer? That's respiration. Aqua Affinity, oh. uh... Aqua Affinity makes it so... Block breaking blocks takes the same as it oh, would. Oh yeah. Because being underwater makes it harder to break blocks, so aqua affinity mm -hmm. removes that. I always mix respiration and aqua affinity up. It's not that difficult to tell the difference between them if you know what the words mean. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go take the trash out. I'll be right back. Okay. You can do commentary while I'm gone. I'm not good at commentary, but okay. <laughs>
these playlists are really not that good for Minecraft. I don't know how he expects me to be good at commentary when I barely make any with him. It just feels awkward. I'm gonna change this music again. It's getting annoying. I need, like, upbeat music. I don't know. Something that won't make me sad. That's probably good. I think one of my favorite things in Minecraft has to either be mining or building. I don't know what about it makes it feel so relaxing, but it just is. Wow, it's almost like that's the name of the game. Yay! You're back! I don't- I didn't know what to say! <laughs> also, yeah, I had my headphones on, so I was still listening to you. I was trying to find things to say, but also, I'm not I very- brought, I brought along a special guest. Oh my, my god, is he your cat? Yeah. <laughs> I love your cat. Remember when it meowed back at me? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. My cats don't like being with me anymore. They hate me. Oh yeah, I forgot we were digging. Let me turn my music back on. I'm not listening to music. I'm I listening to music in the background. Because I don't like when it becomes a very silent awkwardness. should talk more then. I don't know how to talk more, I'm bad with words. Exactly. The thing is, I either talk too much or I talk too little. You're a horrible co-host. I know. <laughs> I make an effort. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter since most of the footage we have is going to be turned into a time lapse, anyways. It's not like this is the most interesting visuals. It's just us mining out a chunk. Yeah. I told someone online I was going to play with them in an hour. <laughs> Three hours ago. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. There we go, now I can read them again. <laughs> should find a desert. I think finding a desert would be cool. I want to explore, but I also don't want to explore because the update. Actually, we could just like... Once the update comes out, we could just dedicate the next few episodes all to exploring. It's the navigation arc. I found iron. Wow, incredible. I know, right? You can use it for so many things. I think gold should have more uses. I agree. They should use uh, gold in a lot of uh, redstone recipes since gold is conductive. You're too smart sometimes. Okay, I'm back. What was I talking about? I didn't even know you left. I'm not that smart. I just think about things sometimes. You are pretty- you're smarter than me, at least. If you're yeah. smarter than me, then I continue- or I- I- If I'm- I will Being smarter, smarter than you is not much of an achievement. Yeah, I know. I'm not really that smart, I just have, like, very logical thinking. I guess. Yeah. I agree with that. Ow. You good? I fell. Again. Uh, like, why are you always falling? Oh, there was this one mini game that I made, um, where you were in a minecart that was kind of going side to side, and you had to hit targets, and each target you hit would be, like, a point, I guess, and the more points you got, the more return you would make on your money. 
Yeah, you- it was like you had to pay to get in, but if you won, you could get- oh, there's a water cave. Great. If you won, you oh, could get no. more stuff than you put in. But they are very difficult games. It's like a modern arcade, where it's just like, really bad games that are purposefully rigged against you. It's more of a carnival than arcade. I'm just gonna try and cover this up. But like, what I'm thinking of is that we make, like, an arcade, because that would be really cool. In here? Not in here, just like, in the future, once we get a in bunch general? of stuff, we should make an arcade. We should also make a computer. I want to learn computational redstone. Building Legos.